Hey everybody, I'm so excited to have you meet my friend and business partner Shannon. She has Lyme and um, I know that lots of people have lots of questions about Lyme as so do I. So we're going to do kind of like an interview here for you and then you can feel free to ask uh, additional questions in the comment section and we'll be um, answering those as you ask. So my first question for Shannon is what were the first things that you started to notice when, um, when actually I wanted to say a couple more things she was finally diagnosed correctly about three years ago for Lyme but she had been misdiagnosed for about five years so this has been a long journey for her um, so back to the first question like what were the first symptoms you started to notice yeah the first symptoms that I started to notice is that um, I, you, you wouldn't really associate them with what the classic symptoms are. I didn't show a bullseye right away or anything like that, which is common, um, but um, it was more of a late stage term of Lyme disease. And my first symptom um, was having bad nightmares and um, passing out and um, having um, what I thought was a pulled hamstring and my okay. problems with my nerves, nerves, neurological issues, um, those kinds of things are really um, common for detecting a late stage case. Okay, and what, like as time went on, what new symptoms developed and did you start to see? Um, yeah, exhaustion and um, really a lot of issues in my joints, everything from my knees to my elbow to burning sensations in my feet, it hurt to walk um, on, um, ground and those kinds of things and how soon did you go to the doctor for all of this when I all when I started experiencing all of those symptoms I went um, as soon as I could get an appointment mm -hmm. what did they say um, they said um, at that point the first time I went before when I was just facing um, exhaustion and those kinds of things they um, they thought maybe it was a depression or something like that. Um, a lot of it, um, trouble in my teenage years, so like growth and puberty maybe um, changing and causing those kinds of things. So um, when I went, when I had the more symptoms like the nightmares and the passing out, those things, that's when they said like let's look at Lyme and um, they gave me a full test blood panel um, to figure it out and then they watched my blood for a few days to see um, and you can actually see it that it will something will grow in it which signals to them that it is Lyme um, based on I don't know what they use so um, they figured it out and um, let me know from there mm -hmm. so for like the first five years was that the mainly just the passing out and the nightmares yep and headaches okay headaches yeah so it got worse the mm -hmm. last time portion of it and yeah. that's when they the nightmares were like when I really knew something was really wrong okay um, that's okay. a sign of um, neurotoxicity that the, I mean it was so severe I was banging my head against my bed spring so it wasn't just like a normal nightmare it was right. like wow there's something serious here right so then what once you knew once they knew and you knew you had Lyme what was like what happened next what yeah did they do? um they put me on the my first round of doxycycline, which is the classic antibiotic that they'll prescribe to anybody who is first diagnosed with Lyme. And they put me on a 30-day round of that and um, kind of downplayed the situation and said, you will be totally fine after you... Um, get through the 30 days to this now a lot of people they will try to put you on just a 14 day cycle um, So definitely fight for the 30 days if you can And so that was antibiotics for a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah for the first month and then it one round turned into two round turned into three round and it just kind of progressed Did it help at all? um Yes, in way, in certain in certain ways, um, there's really not much when the when the infection is first in your body. There's really you have to kill that infection. So antibiotics are a way to deal with that. But what's common for Lyme is that the antibiotics are not helpful when it comes to your symptoms. Mm -hmm. And by this point, after the first month of antibiotics, I couldn't walk anymore. Um, it got had gotten so bad with my um, sciatic nerve and my leg and my hip and my joints, my knee and stuff, I couldn't walk, I couldn't um, put on pants, mm -hmm. I couldn't lift my leg high enough to get in a pant leg in those kinds of everyday tasks. So you were pretty much home at this point, right? Yes. No school, right. no work. Yeah. Wow. And what do you feel like, I don't know, like what else could you share about 
that when things got better or even like when things got worse and then better like what was the what did that look like yeah um I was a college student at the time so I was just really just staying in my dorm room and um trying to eat what little I could I mean, of course my digestive system was an absolute nightmare um from all the antibiotics and all the infection and disease and those kinds of things I was on a low inflammatory diet at the time. I was not eating any sugar. I was not eating any gluten or any dairy. That is extremely, extremely important. Um, and um, I was still eating other grains um, and nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables. And um, fruits and vegetables really made the difference for me. I began um, juicing and um, I had a little blender and I would just make fresh juice with spinach, apple, celery, whatever I could get my hands on really. Um, and um, I would drink a huge 92 ounces. I would just keep wow. drinking glasses every day um, of that. So um, Was that in addition to medication or was that like your that medicine? Was, that was in addition to medication, yeah. Okay. Um, and that really helped me with the symptoms and being able to regain um, the ability to walk and stuff. Um, but my body needed all those fruits and vegetables and I wasn't, um, I couldn't afford to juice like I was doing. It was fine in that emergency situation, but it was complicated because I would have to have my friends do it for me because I couldn't walk over to do it. And I would have to, um, you know, make sure I had everything that I needed. It was um, kind of like something, you know, it wasn't sustainable, I guess you could say. And mm -hmm. I always want my health changes I make in my life that to be sustainable or else you lose it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's when um, one of my friends introduced me to Juice Plus and um, I was able to get on that and get the same nutrition that I was experiencing with the juicing in a 100 times easier, cheaper form. So it was perfect um, for me at where I was at in my life and since then my symptoms have improved 100%. I forget honestly that I really even felt these ways some days with how wonderful my joints feel. I can do squats, run, anything with my knees, my feet feel absolutely fine. Um, my brain, I, I mean I can't, can't really tell you the last time I had like a real migraine like I was having. My dreams, um, my, I haven't had any nightmares, anything like that. My brain is completely clean of any neurotoxicity. Um, of course there is, you know, if you were to do a CAT scan, um, an MRI, you can see that there is damage in there. Um, but I am extremely functional for the state that I've been in and, um, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, um, how long have you been on Juice Plus? I've been on Juice Plus for over two years. Okay. Yeah. Is that when you started to see the the majority of your improvements, or was it initially like when you started juicing, like the fresh fruits and veggies? Yeah, it was definitely when I started juicing when I saw the majority of the improvements. But what I didn't see is how I regressed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I would just a day without doing this juicing regimen that I was on, I would completely regress to my state of not being able to do anything mm -hmm. um, so it was masking symptoms but what I've seen with the juice plus is not only has it um, completely eliminated the symptoms but it's healed my body on a cellular level where you know there's no arthritis in my knee tissue anymore and those kinds of things my blood has been um, you know regenerated you know because your blood naturally does that um, it's just as we are able to clean it out it can um, really work for us for um, healing and those kinds of things so really the majority of the symptoms that I've seen ceasing and um, everything like that has been um, from juice plus so you say you're a runner yeah explain what that means because for someone like me that yeah. doesn't run nothing this yeah. girl she's a runner <laughs> so I was um, doing cross-country at the time for my university and um, 